This video is provided as supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I want to talk about how to sketch angles in standard position. And specifically, I want to deal with angles that are measured in radians. I'll do a separate video that has angles measured in degrees. Okay, so if we're going to be sketching angles, we'll have a coordinate plane. So I'll draw a rough plane the x-axis and the y-axis, and angles measured in standard, in standard position are going to start on the positive side of the x-axis over here, and then they'll work their way clock, counterclockwise around the origin. Okay, now let's remember, when we're dealing with, degree, with radians, a full turn around the origin is going to be, let me make some room here, is going to be 2 pi. Halfway around the origin would be 1 pi. And then if we just go 1 quarter of the way around, that will be pi over 2, or 1 half pi. And if we go 3 quarters of the way around, we're going to have 3 pi over 2. And of course, when we start out, we're starting out at 0. Okay. So let's say we want to measure an angle. We want to sketch an angle that's 3 pi over 4. OK, so to make this a little easier, let's take this pi over 2 and change its denominator. I'm going to take pi over 2 and turn that into 2 pi over 4. In other words, instead of 1 half pi, I have 2 fourths pi. So it's the same thing. I want an angle that's 3 fourths pi. So that means starting in standard position, I'm going to go through the first quadrant. Let me label these quadrants. There's the first, second, third, and fourth quadrants. So I'm going to go through the first quadrant. That's 2 pi over 4. But I want 3 pi over 4. So I'm going to go halfway into the second quadrant and a rough sketch of that angle measuring 3 pi over 4 would look something like this. OK, let's say we want an angle that's 4, in other words, 4 radians. OK, well, remember that 1 pi is 3.1416. This number goes on and on. But pi is a bit more than 3 radians. So I'm going to want to go through the first quadrant, the second quadrant. That will get me through the pi, and then into the third quadrant for four radians. So that would be a rough sketch of an angle of four radians. OK, what if we have 7 pi over 4? OK, well, once again, Let's change the, uh, the versions of pi that we have so the denominators are 4. So I'm going to have 2 pi over 4 instead of pi over 2. Pi, halfway around the circle, would be the same as 4 pi over 4. 3 pi over 2 would be the same as 6 pi over 4. And I want 7 pi over 4. So I'm going to go through the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant. That gets me to 6 pi over 4. I want 7 pi over 4. So that's going to take me into the fourth quadrant. OK, so that will be my angle of 7 pi over 4, starting in standard position. OK, now we can also have angles that are negative. So let me clean this up, draw that xy axis again, and put some negative angles in. Here's my pi over 2 at the top, pi, 3 pi over 2 at the bottom, and the quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4. And let's say we want negative 6. In other words, this is just a measure in radians. OK, well, remember that pi is a little bit more than 3. 
So 2 pi would be a bit more than 6. I just want negative 6. So if I start in standard position and go almost completely around, halfway around will take me to pi. I'm going, I'm going clockwise because it's a negative 6. I'm going to continue into the first quadrant, but not all the way around. All the way around would be 2 times pi, or approximately 2 times 3.14. That would be more than 6, and I don't want to get that far. Okay, so this would be my angle in standard position of negative 6 measured in radians. Okay, and one more. Let's say we want negative 7 pi over 3. Okay, once again, let's change some of these denominators or change what the fractions look like. So pi would be the same as 3 pi over 3. And that would mean that 2 pi would be the same as 6 pi over 3. I want negative 7 pi over 3. So if I start in standard position, go halfway around, that takes me to 3 pi over 3. If I continue a full circle, I get to 6 pi over 3. I want negative 7 pi over 3, so I've got to go a little bit more. And that would take me to this point in the fourth quadrant, and my angle would terminate there. Okay? So I know that radian measures are a little bit harder to deal with for a lot of people than, than degree measures. Practice these a bit, brush up on your fractions if you need to, and everything should work out fine. That's about it. Take care. I'll see you next time.